Good morning, I'm Jack. And I'm Chris. Today is February 28th. Starting next year, East Syracuse Manoa Schools will be taking on a massive undertaking, which is renovating the elementary schools to make them more compatible with 21st century learning environments. More on that after news and announcements. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thursday, March 5th is Military Career Day here at USM. Military representatives will be in the main lobby during lunch periods. Stop by if you are interested in speaking with them. Gertrude Hawk order forms are due back to Mrs. Mock in B3 or Miss Leo in the main office on Monday, March 2nd. Hey guys, it's Officer Damon. Uh, this is for all the student drivers on campus. Uh, we've been having a lot of issues after school in the parking lots. Um, the biggest concern being people passing the school buses, especially after school. The, when they have the red lights on and the, the red stop light out, uh, you cannot pass them. This is going to be the last warning and um, we will start issuing tickets and, and taking away parking privileges. On Monday, we had about over a dozen people pass a couple of school buses over in the student lot, and that is unacceptable. Um, we don't want anyone to get hurt, um, and we want to just keep it uh, safe on campus. So um, please be more careful of that. And also, we will have an Alive at 25 class coming up on March 10th for anyone that hasn't taken the class uh, and needs to park on campus. Thanks. Back in fall of 2014, EFM began renovations on Pine Grove Middle School entitled The Greener Greater Grove. Seventh graders were sent to St. Mary's across from Manoa Elementary and eighth graders were sent to the high school with elementary students staying in their element or with the sixth graders staying in their elementary school. Meaning Jack, myself, and everyone else in the class of 2020 spent sixth grade at the original Pine Grove, then seventh at St. Mary's, and then went to the high school in eighth grade. Honestly, St. Mary's was difficult because it had a little bit of a, a not best gym floor. So doing phys ed was kind of hard. And if there was a fight or an argument in the halls, students would have no choice but to just stand there because it was only one hallway. And um, the, the whole building itself was just so cold. I just remember it being so cold all the time. <laughs> I didn't mind eighth grade that much because being in the high school mm -hmm. before we were actually in the high school showed us what high school was and how it felt. Yeah, absolutely. Although it was a difficult transition for two years for students and the staff, many said it was extremely well worth it to have a beautifully renovated middle school, which I would agree with. Both the Woodland and Fremont principals said that they were excited and nervous to make the move to St. Matt's and Chittenango in the fall, but they said the newly renovated buildings will be worth it. One thing that I didn't realize until we interviewed Dr. Desiata was that these elementary schools were built in the 1960s with the exception of ESC, with rooms that only had chalkboards and desks in their classrooms. Today will be mostly windy and cloudy with a high of 27. Tomorrow we will have expected morning snow showers with a high of 21. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 32. Monday and Tuesday there will be rain showers with highs in the mid to low 40s. Wednesday will warm up to 50 with expected rain showers. Thursday we will have mixed rain and snow showers with a high of 37. I'm Gabby with your weather. Elementary schools, a vital part of children's education. It's where students learn the basics of learning, spelling, reading, and writing. Which is why ESM is spending almost $50 million to completely reimagine the elementary schools to accommodate a 21st century learning environment. With the elementary objective, we're really looking forward to our elementary schools being state of the art for a 21st century learning environment, a learning environment that has a higher degree of safety a learning environment that has a much higher degree of both flexibility and adaptability, and a learning environment that welcomes community and that really embraces the fact that these are child-centered learning spaces. As school shootings have continued to be in the news with instances like Santa Fe, 
Parkland, and Sandy Hook, security plays a major role anytime there are school renovations. We have no doors, we have no walls, um, and although we have safety plans in place for our kiddos and our staff, the increased ability to have doors and walls will just increase the safety. District staff and students are in support of these various projects and look forward to seeing what these wonderful remodeled buildings will look like over the next two years. Right now, Fremont is a wonderful building and it is supported by wonderful teachers, wonderful students, wonderful families. Um, but we're really excited to see the renovations come to life and to see the way that it enhances the learning for years to come. Boys basketball plays at 5.30 tonight against JD at the SRC Arena at OCC. It is the semifinals of sectionals. It is a blackout, so go out and support the Spartans. I'm as well as your sports. So, as we said, their innovations will be a transition for the students being relocated to the different schools, and we hope it goes smoothly. Absolutely. Whatever headaches may occur, just think about the outcome and how the students will feel after. When we went to Woodland, it had no walls between the classes, so mm -hmm. I wonder how it will be when they return to the schools with walls. Absolutely. I mean, most of those teachers there, some of them at least, have never worked at a building that had walls. So I think that transition is going to be so difficult to work with suddenly no walls and collaborating with everybody to being like walls and having your own space. So I think that's going to be difficult um, for Woodland at least, for Fremont. Uh, I can imagine that the move to Chittenango is going to be extremely difficult and starting later and um, just sort of like that drive. But I think it's going to be a really great project nonetheless, and I really look forward to seeing it unfold in the next couple of years. So from Chris, myself, and everybody here at Spartan News, have a fantastic day.